Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Historical Italy on regular mode. So let's get into it here. So we're on the eve of I Blood Alone DLC. It should be out in a few months. And I just wanted to explore Italy with you and try to play it as historical as possible. Now, I've been, I spent all yesterday looking into what happened in World War II with Italy. And uh, we're gonna explore that today. And then perhaps we can come to some conclusions in regards to how the Italy focus tree is best improved. So sit back, relax, strap yourselves in, and let's have a good time here. So the first thing about Ethiopia, so we're starting off in Ethiopia here, and Graziani was in the south and Bono was in the north. And <laughs> they're both, they both start off as field marshals in the beginning of the game. Graziani was like, he participated in Ethiopia and then... I think he participated in North Africa and then something happened and he was retired after that. And now I'm just going off my memory here. So you're gonna, I'm going to have to apologize to you guys. So we're going to be playing this game and I'm trying to give you guys some historical anecdotes while at the same time uh, playing it as historically as possible, as historically as Hearts of Iron 4 will allow me to. We'll start off with a few sieves here. And let's go Ethiopian war logistics. I'm gonna give you guys my focus tree order down below. And then <clears throat> what we need to do here, boys, is set up our production. I'm gonna try to simplify it as much as possible. So it seems to me as if Paradox got the ships correct. Uh, you know, I just Googled it looked at you know wikipedia things like that and got lists of what ships were available i've already been told that some of the capital ships didn't have enough gun turrets so there was two instead of three something like that let's see i think it was andrea doria yeah we only have two instead of three okay so we're not going to get into that granular of a detail here we're going to get as granular as time will allow us so that's where the fun aspect will come in. Okay, I want Zara. And who's the other one? Iachino. It's kind of how I do it. Obviously not historical, but we're going to do the best that we can. Other things about the starting uh, generals, I don't know much about the admirals, but if you guys want to post comments down below, I would really appreciate it. Another thing about the generals is the fact that a lot of them were replaced or died. Um, so I think we're going to start off with Bono. I think that he dies and then maybe Balbo dies. I could be wrong about that, but we're, we're just going to skip using Balbo. Messe, it seems, lasted till the end of the war. And he was in like, he was in like Barb or something and then ended up taking over North Africa as Rommel left, something like that. Obviously a big player, one, a general that we want to use in this historical build for sure. Okay, so that's looking good. If you want to do an OP build, don't build the battleships. They're not worth it. They're really expensive for what you get out of them. And let's set up the small arms production here. So we have production numbers on the M91 and it was something on the order of 2 million. We're obviously not going to be able to produce that many. But we're going to try to get as close as possible. Italy was big on small arms, but in terms of like larger weaponry, like AA and stuff like that, they didn't produce that in large numbers. So they seem to do very simple things well. And there's a lot to be said about that. So all you Italy haters out there, pump your brakes. It's not as bad as you might think. 
do want to get a couple navs up. They did have quite a few navs in World War II. And they had a lot of tacks. I think they produced over 4,000 uh, tack bombers from what I can tell. But they were, Italy was lighter on the CAS. Probably only four or 500 CAS. So obviously I'm not exact on these numbers. I'm giving you very broad ballpark numbers here. Move this up. Let's grow into these other types of production. We'll grow into Toad AA first. But even like artillery, they had 75. So this is a 75 millimeter cannon, as you can tell from the name. Uh, I think they only had 500. And what you'll find if you deep, deep dive into the historical Italy is the fact that it seemed to me that Mussolini gave away a lot of his best weapons for clout, which is a major tactical error. Okay, now what I also want to do right off the bat here is give you some... Let's just set up the, the army numbers here. So you're going to want to produce kind of as many mountaineers as you can because there's a special forces cap. We're going to want to produce only six infantry. So I'm just setting this up so that they'll roll out one by one. Okay, we're going to need 43 colonial. So these are mostly like occupation slash coastal brigades. There's four Mott. We'll have to grow into that. Then there's going to be six total. So we're going to do three here. We start with three. And we're going to need one more Cav. And then we're also going to need to pop it off Eritrea and Somalia. The area of Somalia, current day Somalia. And uh, get a few divisions from them. Two Libyan, two... So it's Eritrean and whatever the other country was. Okay, so we'll get those later. I I'm not going to puppet these areas off until we've defeated Ethiopia. And Ethiopia, the Ethiopian war lasted till February of 1937. Whereas the Spanish Civil War is going to kick off in 36. So in July of 36. So we're going to have some problems there. Let's get all the Air Force going here. And Italy has got a lot of different types of weapons. I'm actually quite impressed reading about it. They produced a lot of different types of air. Uh, some of it looks kind of goofy, but... I was impressed because I was not aware that that was a thing. Okay, let's get this going. We'll start up with some attacks here. And we'll just use what's already down here. Because Ethiopia is a kind of a pushover in Hearts of Iron 4. This war did last quite a while, though. So in essence, we're not going to be allowed to send volunteers till to Spanish Civil War until this conflict with Ethiopia is complete. There was quite a bit of Lend-Lease that was sent to... Let's do Mountaineers for... Nah, let's do regular divisions. It was mainly black shirts that was sent to Spanish Civil War. There was quite a, f a lot of stuff sent to the Spanish Civil War. And I was trying to look for leaders that were sent to the Spanish Civil War, and none of them were present in Hearts of Iron 4. So we might as well grind Messe a little bit here. Just for giggles. And as you can see, our air experience is going up. We want to keep an eye on the army experience and we want to make sure that we don't overrun the capital because I do want to grind for a little bit here. Let's check our air. It's looking okay. We've got 300 in stockpile. We're going to lend lease that to Spain. To Spain. If you're trying to grind air XP, Ethiopia doesn't have an air force. So the fighters are not going to run missions. So it's largely not worth like sending up your fighters. Okay, we're just going to go through this side of the map. You know, it's kind of not. It's kind of hard to tell what is the historical pathway. With this focus tree. Because it's a little all over the place. And we will just manually kind of attack here. 
to grind. Okay, we're already out of oil. I guess we could get some from the US if we needed it. Those tack bombers really consuming a lot of oil. Okay, so some of the divisions are already coming out. So definitely the story of Italy is excellent. Small arms. The tanks were not as bad as you might have heard. Not a lot of production in the country. They had a lot of corruption under Mussolini. And um, that corruption caused a lot of problems in terms of being able to produce military equipment. In this playthrough, in order to get enough military equipment to, to call it a historical build, we're going to definitely go war economy first, though. So I don't think historically Italy was a war economy. But we're going to do it anyway. Just because we won't be able to produce enough equipment to even get to close to historical numbers. What you'll find, though, is when you if you try this build, you don't really need a lot on like tank because it's a tank at you can produce quite a few of them. You don't really need a lot on recon, things of that nature. You can produce quite a lot with uh, just like one mil. So it's not a big deal. And. Um, let's see here. Got the industrial effort going. Out of oil yet again. June 3rd, rapidly approaching Spanish Civil War. And now we're going to go war economy. And we're just going to keep on chugging along here. So we know Spanish Civil War is coming in July. Just want to get ahead of the game and perhaps end this on time. And if we grind here or Spanish Civil War, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, now Spanish Civil War is going to kick off, so we might as well take this over. Got Construction 1. We're going to need Construction 2. Uh, we got the Fighter 1 fairly quickly, fairly easily. get off radio and uh, boost some of our resources here. We will run out of resources. Okay, and there's National of Spain. Let's get this over with, boys. And as you can see, we're not going to be able to send volunteers. Now, there is quite a lot of lend lease that was given to National of Spain here. And I'm just going to give them whatever I have right now and then perhaps we'll do it again here's some trucks here's everything i've got so far it was like a three-year conflict so i think over three years a lot was given i want to make sure to give them my fighters and then the thing that we can do here that got away from me is we can do state service military and boost our political power that's a fairly powerful one there And then we need to start getting air advisors as quickly as possible. The best way to do that is independent air force. And then immediately you can start uh, getting guys that can grind air experience for you. Let's do TAC bombing guy. Improve the TAC bombing efficiency. And we're zooming along here in order to Trying to get everything that we need. We're going to get, we're going to rush that research slot. And we're not going to puppet Ethiopia because it was annexed into the kingdom of Italy or something like that. And then what I'll do immediately is I will release Somali Sultanate. And I will release Eritrea. And then we will get their divisions using this tool right here under the division designer. 
Let's just have them do colonial divisions. It'll be easier for them to get equipment for those divisions, and then we'll train two apiece. And now we're historical. All right, we can immediately lend, send volunteers. And who is it? The Messe army is what who's going over there. We can send two divisions. Total limit is three. And Italy kind of had like their own version of the SS. They had the black shirt divisions. And this was the mainstay of what was sent to Spanish Civil War. Okay, we'll get these guys in the sky and you will see the power of the tax. And the magic occurs with the tax when you have this huge radius. So their air efficiency is quite good. Okay, we got our boys over here with Messe. And we're just going to set them up in battle plan. So as you can see, Mallorca here is in the hands of nationalist Spain. However, historically speaking, this was in the hands of Italy. And Italy in Mallorca had installed a puppet government and held on to that puppet government until um, the end of the Spanish Civil War. So I want to stay on top of getting these air, reformer, air reformers, air specialists. They're so valuable. They're going to enable us to grind air XP very quickly. So another thing that we could get is centralized control, which will further boost our air efficiency. Let's see what else it does. Fighter detection, air mission efficiency. Okay, so we're going to run more efficient missions and then we'll get the air warfare theorist just so that I don't forget about it. The next thing to do would be get the would be to get the war industrialist. And after we get the war industrialist. We're going to start building mills. We can actually do that pretty soon. After the extra research slot, we're going to go Italian highways. That is essentially like building sieves. It's going to boost our production in our economy. And that's mainly what we're focusing on here first. I'm not getting radio because I don't want to push Spanish Civil War too much. So it's kind of like, what can we get that's easy and cheap? That's what I'm looking for here. The cheapest and easiest thing to get. Actually, this is 142. We could get pick up this uh, interwar artillery. The mountain division does have artillery, though. It's no biggie, though. It's not going to be that big of a boost. But basically, when we get into war, Germany is going to pull us in. So army primacy next so I can get some mills. And let's upgrade this. Let's start getting this fighter out there. That's going to be very important. So after Germany pulls us in, um, if I remember correctly, the Italians attacked across this line, took some land because France wasn't ready, and then largely... They just kind of stopped. They just wanted to take this area here. Um, Savoy region, I guess. And I believe that Germany gave them that region. And I've had a friend that visited this region and there is a Statue of Liberty here where France, um, or the ally France dedicated um, the Statue of Liberty to the allies in this region because they got Savoy back from Italy after the war. It's something like that. Please correct me down below if I'm wrong. And if I am wrong, I apologize. Uh, what else to pick up here with our... So we can actually at this point switch off of independent air force and we could do air crew surveys. I don't want to pick up Doctrine yet, though. So let's go Industrial li Liaisons. And then when we're ready to pick up Doctrine, like we're maxing out at 500 air XP, then I'll switch this over. So the next thing we're going to do is wait till we have max air XP. 
And kind of the point of getting this air production up here is that we're gonna bottom out in terms of our tax in the Spanish Civil War. So let's move these to stockpile and let's max this out. We get to send 87 there, so that's quite good. Our next political power buy is going to be the war industrialist. We're going to skip captain of industry. He's probably only worth, let's be realistic, one or two sieves. Not too worried about that. It just makes the build a lot easier if we can just simplify the political power buys. We'll pick up mills in all these areas first. We'll take this production down. Okay, we ran into a Russian division. That's always good for grinding purposes. I want to get the synthetic oil experiments out of the way. And what you'll find if you do this build, if you don't kind of go down your focus tree all the way uh, to get refineries in Libya, what tends to happen is you run out of oil and rubber really quickly, which has trickle down effects of your economy. If you wanted to play completely historically, uh, you could just let that happen and um, take the negative resources you know right on the head because it'll affect your production quite a bit that's probably what happened to them historically i want to do kind of a hybrid approach here okay so now we go triumph in africa and i just wanted to get those mills first that you could go for the stability first which the stability gives you a lot more than just raw mills so that's an idea. Let's go the first recon. And then I believe through focus tree we'll get 100x research for reconnaissance company. It looks like we probably have to go this recon two by ourselves, which is fine. Very easily achievable. And my cutoff is 324 days. I think I got that from 71 cloaks channel. And what that's gonna enable us to do is um, optimize the amount of research because we're going historical. We want to get all the goodies, all the different types of cool research, all the different types of cool equipment. Uh, going for research that is largely cheap is going to get you a lot because you're not burning days on ahead of time research penalties. Now, if you're going an OP build, that's different. You want to focus your research on just certain things that will net you like the highest value because a lot of the things that they built historically don't translate into high impact equipment, things of that nature. Okay, we're grinding very well here. I can pick up political loyalty. which will boost our stability quite a bit. So boosting stability, as you know, increases political power gain, factory output, dockyard output, and reduces consumer goods factories. So it's good in a lot of different ways. So I should have gone Triumph in Africa first, but it's okay. It's not going to be that big of a deal. I know when we're playing a lot, like, you know, a lot of players are very strict with their builds, and I respect that, but does it really matter that much? If you make a little mistake with the build here or there, uh, yes, there are huge mistakes that you can make, um, like not going war economy, but alternatively, some of the mistakes that you can make are very, like, low impact, like half a sieve, a quarter of a sieve, half a mil. Um, so... Bear that in mind. Okay, so we want to go Army Primacy, Triumph in Africa, Air Innovations 1. So we're going to skip Support National of Spain because it's kind of ridiculous. Let's start Lend Lease again. <laughs> Let's give him some more guns. Give him all of our guns. Okay, so we just went War Industrialist, so now we could pick up Bono in order to grind army XP. And then industrial concern would be a, the next pickup. Just got to keep an eye on air XP over here. Don't want that to cap. 
the industrial concern. We've got a lot going on here research wise with the industry. So we want to mop that up real quick. <laughs> and now that we've done that, industrial research is kind of too expensive. So I apologize. Let's make sure that we pick up radio just to make sure that we don't forget about it. We'll get smoke generators just because it's cheap and it's good. OK, now we're going to go Marinostrum just to make sure that we double tap that in that uh, naval production there. There's probably tanks up here in Yugoslavia and tanks in North Africa simultaneously. And then after Yugo was gone, they were probably brought down. So I'm assuming that that's what what has happened. Yeah, we can almost pick up Beretta. Small arms guy, right? Let's pick up like field hospitals. They did have field hospitals in their division templates historically. I saw that. And wow, we're just blasting through everything here. This is great. We can pick up one other thing before we go Beretta. That's kind of expensive. Um, we're going to get a... Let's go Logi. We're going to get a bonus to the recon company. So I'm not going to pick that up yet. And sure enough, we get Beretta. Could go Maki. Oh, I skipped over Maki. I should have done that first. Okay, so we'll go Beretta next. Bomber effort next. So we can start researching those precious bombers. I think that trade interdiction would suit Italy better. So I go that every time. And then we'll again hold off on gun production. This isn't cheap enough yet to say that we have value. Pick something up like that. Okay, we got synthetic oil experiments. And that's going to allow us to build refineries. More importantly, it's going to allow us to go down our focus tree and prospect for oil in North Africa. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, we're getting at, at the end of our air experience here. So I'm watching that. And Spanish Civil War looks to be a slow and steady grind here. I love it. OK, we got bomber effort. We're going to go for modernized artillery. Boost up our research here. And then I want to make sure that I don't go over. So let's change industrial liaisons. It feels like the air XP is popping a little bit more here now that I readjusted the tax down there in the Spanish Civil War. So we haven't got any air doctrine yet by design, but we'll get air crew surveys to enable us to go full doctrine. And what I'm thinking here for Italy in terms of air doctrine Please uh, give me feedback in the comments below. I am thinking that there's strategic destruction. And everyone's over here. We got tax in the kitty. Let's go a couple. Get those out. Get that out. Modernized artillery. And we're just going to go modernized army. We're going to have a lot of bonuses to production here coming up. So we got rubber processing, despite the fact that we don't have refineries yet. OK, so we got field hospital. Let's see what else is good. OK, disperse three is now worth Prince of Terror. So we occupy some territory. Um, so that might be beneficial there. I could also get a naval guy, actually, and start grinding naval XP. Fiat and then Campioni. OK. Let's go Campioni first. So the next thing we're going to do is special forces. More doctrine available. Let's go ahead and pick that up. OK, that was a mistake. I should not have done that because now I'm not going to. I'm not going to be able to manipulate my uh, templates here. Let's go decisive battle specialist. And then we can go like Fiat next. From what I could tell they had about 200 navs of all types. They had quite a lot of different types of like 
seaplanes and stuff like that. I guess that was just in vogue for the time. Because that's like what Germany was doing. They also had some BF 109 Ks that they received as well. So just bear that in mind. OK, there's that recon upgrade. OK, we got the special forces. Let's go claims on Yugoslavia. Not that we're going to use them. The claim will not expire. You can see that as we build mills, the sieves get taken away. So we did have at one point like 17 sieves. So that's kind of a real problem if you don't ramp enough. And I'm kind of getting the sense that I should have ramped a bit more. I just want to get through this doctrine and then when we get like fighter two or something, I can buff that. I can buff nav. And I want to tell you, this is a historical build, quote unquote. But once war starts, all bets are off. I'm doing whatever I want. I'm sorry, guys. It's on like Donkey Kong at that point. AI, you're kind of weird sometimes. Okay. Flames on Yugo befriend Bulgaria because we have to to get to Albania, right? Another weird thing about the focus tree here. Or is it I have to do that to get Pact of Steel, right? Yes, requires befriend Bulgaria. And then the Albania occupation. Let's look that up real quick in my notes here. April 7th, 1939. So we still have a few months on that one. And then the Pact of Steel. So we're going to get uh, the Albania occupation maybe in February just to line up the Pact of Steel better. So we're going to be ballpark there. So that'll be quite good. You know, it'd be nice if Paradox just had a focus tree that delineated like that was linear. Like if you want to play perfectly historically, this is what we suggest. So maybe something off to the side that literally is like a singular pathway. There are no options um, until you hit war or something like that. I think that that would be a pretty cool idea. The devs are like, shut up, ESG. We've heard enough. We've heard enough of you and your ideas. Get out of here. Oh, we get fighter two. Um, oh, wow. Take that off. Or just get one. From Japan. That'd be good. So obviously we've put out a few capital ships. That's why that went down. If you don't focus those bo bonuses on like fighters or whatever, um, you can get a lot of the bombers. You can do a lot of historical flavor here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get fighter two in production. So we've got like two or 300 of the other fighter and now we've got fighter two with the Maki on it. So that's gonna be very formidable. The fighter one's not gonna be that formidable for obvious reasons. Okay, ramping up production of the anti-tank. I might have to go down on that. The other thing I need is transport planes. Get a couple of those going. Let's start updating our templates here. So there should be around 30 of the mainline infantry divisions there. And um, let's go for Albanian occupation next, right? Yes, that'll be Pact of Steel. So almost done with all of our training and I have a list of all the divisions that were present in World War II and we're just going to go with that. So I just already I'm just going to front load everything, put out all the divisions that they had of or get them as close to historically as possible. And then that's where we're going to roll with the whole game. We're not going to make any more divisions and hopefully none of the divisions get encircled. So forth. OK, let's go next. Let's just get conscri conscription going or actually, you know, what would be better. No, let's just get conscription, because if you don't get that, you get boned. And then we'll go ship designer. Infantry expert. And we could also pick up. Um, 
the fascist guy just to keep our stability high. Now our stability is already fine. And then what we want to do is decrease the democratic section here and what the fascism guy will do. So let's see who I'm referring to. Carlos Scorza is going to reduce that democratic section. Okay, Dispersed Industry 3. Advanced Machine Tools. So we're, our production is going to be increasing quite a bit here. This is doable. But let's go Paris. Okay, we got the upgraded tack design that I can throw into production. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up. It's under 324 days. So only 220 of these guys, that's fine. Because we need about 2,000 tacks of this type. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, after Albanian occupation, we're going to go Pact of Steel. And you go the fascist guy. Let's just go ship designer. Might want to upgrade our ships a little bit there. And we got the upgraded cast. What does the ship designer buff? Naval research speed of all types. Okay, perfect. Well, let's do some naval research. Uh, another good thing to get is firefighting drills. Go pick that one up. And I'm going to stay on the infantry equipment as much as possible. Okay, we're attritioning a little bit here. I think we've got enough of this. Give you a commander, Balbo, who died in North Africa. Friendly fire death. Friendly fire casualty. And hopefully we're not attritioning at all. All right. Start getting excited. World War II is about to kick off. I probably want to start building refineries. And then think about going the refinery focus tree, actually. So kicking out a few of these would be nice. Our economy is fairly sluggish right now. So I would have liked to have built a few more sieves. Or to claim some more territory would be nice. Oh, I shouldn't have got that either because we have air innovations too coming up. So we're going to get a boost to a doctrine that way. Yeah, let's hope that these guys don't attrition. Put them up over there and see what else we can put up. Actually, all this stuff is primarily going to be defending the Alps here. His war with Greece is after Battle of France. Okay, we got Pact of Steel. Let's go Armor Effort. And then we'll start building that medium tank. We will accept the invitation to join the Axis. Because this is World War II. And we do have paras, so we will need to build three paratrooper divisions. And so that's where those transports are going to come in handy. I believe radar was lend leased from Germany in 1941, so we're not going to go radar yet. Go some bracket shooting because Italy was a seafaring nation.
Okay, upgraded Cass. Upgraded Nav should come up shortly. And let's get those three paras into training. Not enough special forces cap. Oh boy. I didn't even put out any Alpine divisions, so oh boy. We still have 43 Colonial divisions to come out. Okay, I'll just let them come out one by one. I think it's fine. Actually, we do have quite a few of those. So we could go narrow. Or we could go wide. Just put this down to one. There we go. And let's start upgrading our templates here. Duplicate this one. So we're going to modernize this tank division, this tank template. 18 width and give them like Logi. Probably the most important thing and the recon so light armored recon and we'll call that one a day and then our main infantry template is going to incorporate support artillery and apparently that's all we are able to do let's look at our stockpile here okay that's looking pretty good okay let's pick up that fascist demagogue See if we can get to 100% stability. That would be nice. Okay, we just went armored effort. Let's go carrier effort. Italy had a carrier that was for like small seaplanes only. That was a modified like older way old ship. And then I believe they had two carriers that were under production but never came out. So largely like Germany, they were trying to produce carriers but never could. They never quite got there. All right, just double checking my production here. Everything is looking pretty good. I just want to make sure that I get out those uh, 2 million guns. All right, what else is going on here? So we can get the Spirit of the Naval Academy. I don't really like that one. I'd rather get Doctrine. God, we're so constrained on our sieves right now. I don't want to expand that any. And we got the upgraded gun. So I'll put a few mills into that. Put like two into the upgraded gun. Because so I'm sure they didn't get many of those out. We have doctrines available. These colonial divisions are money because they do really well in the mountains, etc. Okay. Finish setting up this stuff. So we got some fighters here. That's fine. Let's keep those fighters there. Maybe move one up. Okay, we're going to go naval air effort and get those nav twos. Oh, World War II just started, boys. Get some of those guys over to Graz. I don't want to overstack. Could give like 16 of these. 
there. And then just uh, kind of get them spread out here so that no one tries any funny business. I don't think the AI will try any funny business, though, but just in case. These are going to be the coastal divisions. And you can tell why they had so many coastal divisions. I think it was somewhere around 20, something like that. But they had a lot of coastline to protect in Italy, so it makes sense. We'll just get some of those guys kind of spread out. And then we'll get these guys spread out on a line. And yes, that's going to be it for this video. So that was the pre-war era. And I hope you enjoyed this video and Hopefully you gain some insights on how to play the game as well as some insights into historical things that happened with Italy and how Hearts of Iron 4 uh, differs from <laughs> real life. Why <laughs> Germany's down here? Because we have a common border with UK. Oh boy. Oh, I actually have to defend that. Okay. So I'll do that in the next video. Uh, I glad, I'm glad that I just noticed that. And if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.